there's that lovely bubbling reaction there as it hits the ice. You can see how fluid the lava is right now. And because it is this fluid, in nature, when it's like this, it flows over the edge of a, a mountainside, for example, and the wind gets a chance to catch it. Uh, you get these lovely formations called Pele's hairs. So these are Pele's hairs. They have thin strands of lava that cool very, very quickly in the air, forming these lovely glassy threads. The geologists are always super excited to find these. They're quite hard to come by in nature because they're so fragile, they tend to get broken apart and blown away by the wind very easily. So that's why the geologists love them. The farmers here in Iceland, though, are not quite so keen on them because those glassy fibers, they get into the grass that the animals eat, and that messes up their stomachs. So that's why in Icelandic, they're actually called Nornahal, which means witches hairs. Now, <clears throat> I have a big block of ice down here. Do you want to see what happens when we stick ice on the lava? Yeah. Of course. It's a question, really. Let's see what we get here. Let's drop this on here. And very quickly, you should see the lovely bubbles forming in the lava there. there is that some of the steam from the ice is escaping up the wind, but some of it's getting pushed down into the lava, and because the lava is already starting to form a crust on the surface as it cools, the steam is not finding it so easy to escape. And so it's causing the lava to inflate up the wind, giving us these lovely bubbles. You can actually, maybe some of you can make out that this area here where the ice was has actually risen up. There's a little lava cave that's formed there. 